and I have a particular love for, for Cape Town. And one of the themes that I've been exploring this week is how to spiritualize our world and how that is how to elevate our world to a spiritual level. And I, I was thinking, well, how do you do that? Because it almost seems impossible in some ways. And yet I was reminded of a quote by Che Guevara, which said, willing, he spoke about willing the unimaginable into existence. And I thought through spiritual engagement, we bring the unimaginable spiritual experience into existence. We bring it into our expression and we make it come alive. I was thinking, how do I explain this? And then I was, came upon me, I was reminded of something I spoke about last week in Cape Town, and now I'm sharing with you in a wider, in a different way. And that was the recent movie called My Octopus's Teacher. And that brings us some lessons. I learned some lessons in watching this and thinking about this movie afterwards and in reading up, reading up about it as well. So I thought, what are the, some of the lessons that I learned from my octopus's teacher, which did exceptionally well at, at won the best documentary at the Academy Awards this year, best documentary feature. And it's an unusual film because it's about a relationship between a man and an octopus. And who would have thought that a story about a man and an octopus would be that interesting? But it was. So the, the first step I learned, and that was to have consistent engagement. And in this case, we're talking about consistent spiritual engagement, if we're going to spiritualize our world. Now, to take you to the extreme of what the um, diver, who, who was the man in this, in this movie, did, Craig Foster, is he vowed to dive every day for a whole year. And to dive every day in the whole year with just a snorkel and goggles, but no wetsuit and no assisted breathing or no aqualung to breathe with. So he, the, I don't know if anyone has experienced the Cape waters, but they are very cold and in winter they are freezing. So he'd be diving into seawater at about 46 degrees in midwinter. And yet he did it on a consistent basis. And some of what we do when we spiritualize our world, we do because we do engage on a consistent basis. Even engaging as we are doing now, we do it week after week. We find ways to engage on a consistent basis. And whatever spiritual practice one does, one needs to do it over a consistent period of time. If one just does it once, and you can have a wonderful high, but then it doesn't really carry any weight. So that I thought is one lesson that I learned. 